He is known for his rugged appearance, often cast as thugs or villains in movies, despite his talent on stage. He is recognized for his contributions to the silent era of film, although his career was cut short by his untimely death at the age of 50. His name is Louis Woolhain. In the golden age of silent films, one actor stood out with his unique talent and rugged appearance, Louis Robert Woolhain. Born in New York City, Woolhain's early life was a far cry from the glitz and glamour of Hollywood. With a rough physical appearance, he was often cast as thugs or villains in movies. But beneath his tough exterior lay a remarkable talent that would lead him to flourish on the stage. Woolhaim's career milestones and achievements were primarily in the silent era of the film industry. He captivated audiences with his powerful performances, using his expressive face and physicality to bring his characters to life. His role in the 1924 film, The Iron Horse, showcased his ability to portray complex emotions and earned him critical acclaim. Despite his success in films, Woolhaim's true passion lay in the theater. He regularly performed in Broadway productions, where his talent truly shone. His powerful stage presence and ability to command the attention of the audience made him a sought-after actor in the theater world. Sadly, Woolhaim's promising career was cut short when he passed away at the young age of 50 in 1931. His impact and legacy, however, continue to resonate in the world of acting. He paved the way for future actors to break free from conventional roles and showcased the importance of talent and dedication in the entertainment industry. Louis Woolhaim, born in New York City in 1880, had a colorful early life before he became a renowned actor. After graduating from Cornell University with a degree in engineering, he taught mathematics and worked as a mining engineer. But it was during his time at Cornell that Woolhaim suffered a nose injury during a football game, which later became almost a trademark for him. Despite his engineering background, Woolhaim had a taste for adventure. Just before World War I, he found himself in Chihuahua, Mexico, selling raincoats and rubber boots to revolutionaries. It was there that he crossed paths with Sam Drebin, an American mercenary. The two became notorious for their drinking and fighting in Mexican cantinas, with Woolhaim even once beating up a Mexican officer and being thrown in jail. Luckily, Drebin came to his rescue and secured his release. When Drebin passed away in 1925 on the West Coast, Woolhaim was living nearby and served as one of his pallbearers. But World War I would soon change the course of Woolhaim's life. After the United States entered the war, he joined the Army and underwent officers' training at Camp Zachary Taylor in Louisville, Kentucky. However, with the end of hostilities, Woolhaim decided not to pursue a military career and requested and received a discharge. Woolhaim's early life was marked by his diverse experiences, from his academic pursuits at Cornell to his adventurous encounters in Mexico and his military service during World War I. These experiences would shape him as a person and lay the foundation for his future career as a celebrated actor. Do you want to explore more actors? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.